Get off the freaking net! And welcome to the Blaze On Nation, where the World Wide Web and Real Life World collide and brings current events to you and takes it all into debate. With your host from the depths, JBJ Blaze. And welcome back to Blaze On Nation, episode 5, recorded on September 20th, 2013. And if. Well, actually, first of all, you'll notice that I have a different bumper, unless you were here for the Thursday recording, then it's the same one as Thursdays, although this is also the re-recording of Thursdays, although you may never notice it by the time this gets released or whatever, because I'll, because I'll never release Thursdays, because it just went wrong. But, um, I decided that I'd actually add in what this show is about, and before I forget, I had s- quite the generosity, um, if I can find it here, sorry if I'm being a little slow, but, I guess while I think about it, I will get the rundown ready. Brace yourselves, it's the rundown. Alright, so in the rundown, um, we have a slash dot comment thing, a Twitter thing, a Twitter experiment, um, I'll be discussing Grand Theft Auto 5 not releasing on PC, as well as it did on the consoles. And lastly, this woman in Florida who failed to obtain coverage under the Stand Your Ground law for certain circumstances of this incident. And, um... So with the first one I'll do, because it's the oldest, um, so what this Twitter experiment was is that um, you text your parent, and actually I'm not even sure if this had to be on Twitter, but, um, and I'll see if I can't get the screen region here too. Um, I might still have it on exploit here. Nope, I do not. So, screen region, and right about there, and there. So, as I get it dragged in, and I'll, here. Okay, so the experiment is, is I can, and as you can see here, text your parents, got two grams for $40. And I'm not sure that it says clear now. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, if you can't read it too well um, from the video version, then right after, sorry, ignore that text, not for you, then tweet to Mr. Fielder the picture of the response and I got a good laugh at this Colby Smithwick replied to it my mom's a cop so no seriously then again I honestly wouldn't trust sending that to a cop either so I guess maybe I'm in the same boat as him um and something else that came up was, if I can find it, I learned a new word on Thursday when I went through this. It went by the term of danja, which I heard about again on Children of Men, which is a great movie. Um... This was followed 
Bye. What do you mean? Now you're doing cocaine ganja? What? Um, that was after... Um, oh yes, after a fine mother, as Splitsider reported, that she had texted back two grams of what? So obviously she was quite surprised. And, um, what's this other one? Yeah, pretty much that's all there is, or at least that I feel like going through. Um, I will put the link in the show notes, so no need to worry about that, and all because I love you thing, well, as a friend. Here, I got it now. And... If I can get this up somehow, oh, yeah, I did say it was name and message, so I will somehow. Configure this. Um, audio listeners won't be able to figure this out, but if you're watching the video version, you will see um, a new message come up. Alright, so, and with that. If you go to the link below, or just go to I am, and that's letter I, letter M, raising, all one word, dot com, slash jbjblaze. If you donate as low as one dollar, you can get your name, slash alias, and message to appear on the screen of the stream. And anyhow, um... In other articles, actually this one's not even part of the show notes yet, but um, I thought it was pretty funny. In which, sorry I just hit my mic, maybe I'll edit that out, I don't know. But um, this one guy, um, whatever his name was, it doesn't say anything, guest editorial. But, um, and I'll link to it, too. On Koteku, I sold too many copies of GTA 5 to parents who didn't give a dang. And what's going on here is that a lot of parents came into his video game retail store looking to get a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5, which is the latest in the Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, Grand Theft Auto series, including Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft GTA 2, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, um, Grand Theft Auto uh, episodes from Liberty City, and Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Huge freaking list, ain't it? Oh, yes, and then coming out this October or so is Grand Theft Auto Online. And, um, basically what this whole article is, is, um, wondering why so many parents don't give a darn about the ESRB ratings. Although, my view on it is... The ESRB ratings don't really matter, like the um part. Maybe the content is more so worth reading, because that actually could tell you what's going on in there. So, in the case of Grand Theft Auto, intense violence, blood and gore, nudity, 
mature humor, strong language, strong sexual content, use of drugs and alcohol. I personally would only pay attention to those then again, it's GTA. Um, completely sandbox other than you can do missions. And, um, yeah. And the guy often hears stuff from these parents like, oh, it's for my older son, or all his friends already have it, and those are quoted. Just so that I don't get in trouble. Um, yes, that's where it was. So, um, they wanted at the game, so he mentioned things like a game having first person view of half naked strippers, or that the game has a mission that forces you to torture another human being, and so those quoted responses are what he got. And, um, so he wonders if this older, if, um, how often the younger, youngest ch child watches the so-called older son playing, and if all his friends were to jump off a cliff. Hmm, that that's quite a peculiar part. And if he's just heard a blip, um, that was my Skype, because I'm too lazy to put it to do, not disturb. I know, right, thing? He just said that in the comments, well, chat on Twitch. I cannot wait for Grand Theft Auto Online either. I hope it's very good. Link me. Sorry about that. Just like to type to people during the stream. Yes, RB focuses on the content that is in the game. I'm against the idea of allowing someone to play a violent game unless they're blah 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 blah. Uh, me, I'm... Two. I, what I don't like about ESRB is, th and they remind me of the MPAA, and this will get a little off topic here, but what I find is that some games they rate, uh, and it might even be like in terms of ESRB, that um, I just don't get disturbed by game gore, I might be like, ooh, ah, e, or whatever. Um, I, I'd say I'm more so fascinated by it. <laughs> you must thank your parents for sitting down while you play a violent video game. Yeah, that's a lot different from me thing in the chat room. I prefer not to have anyone behind my back unless I'm doing something that I want them to see. But, um. Do 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 do. In other things, this slash. Actually, actually, actually. Now that I'm already talking about Grand Theft Auto, why not? So. Grand Theft Auto 5 released just maybe a week ago, and it only released for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And um, this really ticked off a lot of people. I admit I'm a little unhappy because then I can't get it uh, like soon enough. But um. Then again, I suppose it also gives it gives it more time after um, Saints Row 4 release. The game that's all about um, watching me, which used to be, or at least my connotation of it is a Grand Theft Auto clone to a Grand Theft Auto clone with a lot. 
a lot and a lot of aliens. And thanks for joining in, I was This has got to be one of the best audiences I've ever had so far. I thank you all. And I won't get too much into that before shoutouts. Um, and there's also a change.org petition of this. Um, as well as one that I'm that I talked to Matt Folks about in epi in last episode, episode four, um, which was a petition to give all the monster cat monster charity concert um, attendees monster capes, which ended up PISSing off dinner bone and. No one ever got rewarded, except for those who donated and got extra perks on these servers. But, um... Back on topic with Grand Theft Auto V... What, what I think is a possible good thing about it, though, is that, um... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, the thing. Um... Maybe I'll take a shot of that if I can. Screen region. And your extra special thing. I put up your chat thing in onto the official stream. So and I, I can agree I can totally agree with that. With this time between the console's release and the PC release, I think that that should allow them to make the PC port way better than the consoles. Like Grand Theft Auto 4, it got lower, rev much lower reviews than the console versions, but you know what? If they can make Grand Theft Auto 5 for PC better, then yeah, then it'll definitely be worth the wait on the PC port. Now to this other thing, um, in which I talked about this on the. Um, for original recording, um, it is on slash dot great news source. Highly recommend them. What's the benefit of privacy from the government? I'm not sure if there was any point in replying to that title. And I'm just scratching my ear if that's being transmitted onto the stream at all. But um. This is Anders Snowden and the fate of the internet as a global network and user 01234567 and in brackets 636235. Um, this is also old, not as old as the Twitter experiment, but um, and I'll I'll just put it this way: I link to every article that I find. But um, he says, there are no innocent people. There are so many laws today that you've probably committed six crimes before breakfast. If laws, if laws were actually enforced, not only would everyone be in jail, but they'd rapidly discover that the laws are so inconsistent that they can't even tell whether or not things are crimes. Um, in chat, feel free to, um, you know, feel free to discuss that on what you think of it. Um, I'll even put the URL in chat. And Nightbot doesn't bug me about it. Boy, am I surprised. And, uh, Yes, I am being silent because I'm typing.
just ah, just so you knew. Anyhow, back to the actual podcast. Um, my view of this is that um, it, it's true because especially in the U.S. or really anywhere, people are trying to make up new laws. In B.C., where the now deceased Amanda Todd, uh, her case was being f- has been fought. I'm not sure if it's still going on or whatever. But um, if you don't know what happened there, what happened was that She, for some reason, trusted another guy online who she did not know worth a darn. An internet stranger, in other words. Um, and that was my Gmail just dinging me. Probably to annoy me. Um, anyhow. So what's going on here is... That she trusted this guy with an image of her breasts. And then later, he distributes it all over the friggin' place. And then people are making fun of her because of it. And she finally decides, I'm gonna consume bleach. And she dies. Well, that, that was her way of wanting to die, but... Yeah. And, um... So, what what some people are wanting to charge in this case is the people for making fun of her. And... Here and in the US, there is one big rule. And it keeps on getting violated so many freaking times. The uh, amendment slash charter that says we have freedom of speech. Freedom of expression, religion, press, etc. and so on. Or in other words, you can say whatever you want, no matter what anybody thinks of it. Just so long as it does not conflict with any other law, you are fine. And these guys who made fun of her, they... Did they conflict with any other law? No. They probably conflicted with Facebook's terms of use. But here in Canada, we don't charge for violating a site's terms of use because that is the site's job. I'm not even sure if the politicians came up with that, but it should be the site's job to deal with that. And um, that's the funny thing that someone in the U.S. government came up with as well, is that it should be the law dealing with violations of terms of service, which is what Aaron Swartz protested and in the end died from. Well, not died. He didn't die from it, but because he was already being sentenced over all this bull crap, he committed suicide. And my very late condolences to his family if they ever hear this. He did a great job. I'm a fan of him and demandprogress.org and great jobs. Um, and back to this. So yeah, basically that that's my view of it is so many people are coming up with new laws or new twists to a law. Um, and just a whole bunch. And really makes you wonder nowadays, what the freak is a law? What the freak is in the law? Because they're twisting it so f- darn much. Um, what's another one? 
in the US, uh, I discussed this in the very, very original recording for episode 1, which I'll, I might talk about it again. It's also on the BlazeOnNation.tk blog, and um, it was the Justin Carter case, and it's so ironic. The, a lot of people are wanting to charge bullies. Even the father of Ray Tay, or however her na print name is pronounced, she was a girl in Nova Scotia who took her own life after a um, internet-wide sharing of this video of her being raped. And then she was made fun of because of the video, and her father or uncle or whoever it was in this one news video said that he thinks that these people who made fun of her should be charged for manslaughter and that is not true. That is absolutely not true. The reason is because and with every single one of these cases um, before I go back to Justin Carter, is that people cannot cause other people to commit suicide. The reason people commit suicide is because of one thing, one disorder, one new wiring of the brain, depression. And how it's not manslaughter is Manslaughter, if a person is speeding and accidentally kills their passengers, that's manslaughter. Not because they caused the vehicle to kill the person, of which way inanimate objects cannot um, kill people. I'll lay that fact down right now. Um, here, maybe I'll put up a new title here. But, um, in that situation, you can't charge, well, you can charge the person for manslaughter because they were directly involved in that murder. Stream sponsors, but um, as for cases like these bullies somehow causing these other people to murder them while to commit suicide, um, the problem there is that they didn't directly cause them to kill themselves. What happened there is they say crap to the other person, which makes that person feel like crap. And I'm not sure about all the steps to it, but it all leads to that person's depression. And then the depression Although, well, I'm not sure if it's really inanimate, but it's intangible. But that's what kills that person. They can't charge anyone for it. And the Amanda Todd and Ray Ty, or however her name is pronounced, cases, the only thing that can be charged for, and would be charged for, <sighs> pardon me, just had to have a yawn, is child pornography because in Amanda Todd's case it was an image of her breasts which because she is a minor it's child pornography if she was 18 or older as you probably already know it would not be child pornography because she is legally adult um, and then with Rete at the time the she was raped in this video she was a minor 
and anything that involves a naked minor or in a girl's case if it just shows their breasts if they are a minor it's child pornography that's the only thing that can be charged I think some people do out too much on what others say that are offensive to them I think p parents who explain that to their children very very true and I also think that parents should explain to their children not to trust anyone online that's what my mother taught me is that and like when I was playing RuneScape this one day and I was chatting with I think a grandmother or at least she claimed to be a grandmother and um, she my mom reminded me to not take her word for what she says because she might be full of crap she might not be a grandmother um, I forget her name now and again it's been a long time since I since that happened sorry for my yawning again but um, I'm sorry that I'm saying buttum so much but I'm a addicted to it. <laughs> Pardon me again, I just burped. But <laughs> I'm so addicted to saying but um and I was told not to trust this person and that's what I do in my well, sometimes I do trust people. But I see it as that, um, watch me. All this typing to people in on Steam is losing me off a track, or however I should word it, is that. How I see things is that people, I, I, and it's because I'm raised this way, is that I don't understand why some people are dishonest. Otherwise, otherwise, um, other than that, like with scammers, they lie their butts off to get money criminals that aren't scammers lie their butts off to not get charged and I barely get that then again I guess it's just because again I'm raised well not saying that anyone else isn't raised well just criminals might not be raised well and um yeah and I'm already losing so much track of my thought. So back to the Justin Carr case and um so what happened there is Justin Carter was playing with a complete stranger on League of Legends which is an arena based game online and um they didn't get along so well and it's normal in these online games to not get along with other players and it's normal for them to cuss and spit and threaten each other like there's no tomorrow until that other player leaves or till the match is ended and they'll throw out all these nasty slurs and then the conflict carried on to Facebook and or something like that and the stranger Justin Carter was playing with called him insane and Justin Carter's response to it and it's not the most nicest but yes I am so insane I'm gonna shoot up a whole school full of students and eat their still beating hearts and that must have scared the crap out of that 
stranger and this other lady in Canada. And it was reported to the police and boom, Justin Carter's in jail. And ended up in jail for like six months or so. <sighs> okay, we good. And actually now that I think of it, it was a Facebook comment. And the problem with this is one, freedom of speech, two, there was no real evidence or diaries or any of that that would prove that Justin Carter would ever do this. The other thing is that um, people say crap on League of Legends all the time. I have a cousin who's used to it and he plays League of Legends um, StarCraft 2 I'm even used to it. I'm sure everyone that plays these games is used to it. Even on Call of Duty if you watch trolling videos or whatever people say the nastiest things and the stupidest things as well. Do they get charged? No. And the last thing is, is that these people again are wanting to charge the cyber bullies. Well, here's a cyber bully right here, and they're charging the victim. It was Justin Carter. He is the victim of being cyber bullied because he was called insane. And they don't do anything to this cyber bully, or at least from what I know. They don't do a darn thing to him. Just because of this comment that he's gonna do this to a school full of students and turn into a heart zombie. Not saying that he's got heart. Well, sure he's got heart. He's definitely got heart. Why wouldn't he get ha have heart? But anyhow, that's that article. And before. Before I run out of time, I have one last article, which is the woman failing for coverage under the standard ground law. So, oh, I already have the article pulled up in my browser here, but what happened was she had, was Marissa Alexander had a huge argument with her abusive husband who's also had charges for battery and how things went was she pretty much gave her husband and children a warning shot and her argument is that she was doing that to protect herself and then her husband and child left. And the reason why, and this I actually found from Monday Matt, he's a great blogger. And the reason why this failed for her was that the problem is she could have gotten away. She should have fled. She could have fled home, even taken her children and f just fled home. I mean, not fled home, fled somewhere else. And I guess what this article comes up with is altercation, aka a noisy argument or disagreement. And. So in the end she got a 20 year prison term, although she, oh pardon my awning again, I'm getting a little tired but, and so also the Florida court it has granted her a new trial, but really it's nonsense because the evidence is there. She could have fled home, but instead 
gave the warning shot and could have killed her husband or whatever. And that's the whole mistake behind it. Is she didn't leave her home and I will leave a link to that in the description again. Um how long have um has this been on for not too bad a timing, apparently. So I am thinking maybe end the show now. Um I thank you all for joining Oh before I exit um just a gaming blog um I think it's a WordPress site just a gaming dot word press dot com I think it was but um if you check out the Steam group just a gaming no just a gaming all one word dot blogs bot dot com or whatever it was um they are a pretty good community from what I've seen run by Ibiev and I recommend you check them out. Oh, and this is the shout out section. Also, um, I'd like to thank you all in the chat for being such an awesome audience. And thank you, Thing, for sponsoring last episode. Um, if actually I'll, but it gets to that in the outro. But, um, during the stream, if you want to have your message appear on the screen, you go to the link spo under sponsoring during the stream, um, or go to imraising.com slash jbjblaze and minimum one dollar and you also get a nice thank you. So, thank you again, thing. And have a virtual pat. I'll um, slash me that in chat. Virtually pats thing on the back. And, um, the rest of my shout outs go to um F F split. I am really anticipating a new update that will include being able to add in media files like you can do an X split. So FFsplit dot com and you can get crap I just scratched my mic. Um uh, you can get their live streaming software from there for free for Windows. And my last shout out goes to um, my friend Matt Folks who was on last episode. And um, so if you need big web hosting space but you don't have don't have a low budget, but you don't have a big budget, but you have a low budget, then shop at store.notelic.com and that is note, L-E-K, all one word, dot com, with store dot above it. Um, go there today, or whenever, and you can get web hosting starting at as low as 199 US dollars per month and it goes up to I think about eight dollars so I highly recommend it service and I'll be also getting it for myself sometime too for my company's site virtual world entertainment um, again thanks thank you all for Coming into chat and 
Keep jolly. And Okay, that doesn't do it. But this will What do you mean you want more? Or did you miss something? Hey, if so, go to blazonation.tk for more articles and show notes. The flippin' awesome.engine.com slash BNP for show notes and to sponsor a future episode.